I'm Racers Marshall Pruitt. This is Chip Ganassi Racing's Marcus Armstrong. And when I say Chip Ganassi Racing's, I don't just mean in the present tense. I mean multi-year extension. You've said for a while now, Marcus, you want to do this. You want to do this full time. You've created this opportunity for yourself with your performances. Chip doesn't hold on to folks he doesn't believe in. Tell me about this. This is a big development for you in your career. Yes, uh, well you summed it up pretty well. It's, uh, it's a very special thing uh, for me to have this extension. It's one thing getting a one year contract. Uh, I, I Obviously I can't understate how amazing the season has been, but to have an extension like this is, is genuinely a dream come true. I'm uh, stepping up. I want to take all of these lessons that I've had. I've obviously had your Dario Franchitti, your Scott Dixon, Alex Pillow, everyone, Marcus Erickson as well, you know, giving me their uh, their best advice possible for the season. They've been extremely helpful, and I feel like I want to turn those lessons into results now. This season has been lots of flashes of potential, not always the finishing results that you deserve. Yep. Honestly, you've done some amazing work as a rookie, learning all these tracks, put in some great races, still waiting to get those great results from race to race. I have to imagine that's one of your bigger goals for next year as well, the consistency of getting justifiable rewards, the checkered flag. For sure. Um, the execution probably hasn't been there this year. We've definitely had the potential, like you said. I think we've been, we've been in and amongst a deep top 10 position for quite a few races this year. Um, a few races do stand out in particular, but the important thing is that we have been fast enough to do it. I feel like my boys in particular, um, we have had the potential. We've had a great car. Can't understate that. We've had a great team around me. And I have also been learning. Like that's that's a big thing. Just every single race getting better and better, which sounds very, you know, you hear that from every single racing driver in the world, but this actually is a big thing here in IndyCar because it's such a unique car and the circuits are so demanding so every race I feel like I'm improving but at the same time I do need that learning experience of having been to a track and then going back um, and I feel like I'm very confident in the car it's just a matter of arriving to the race weekend and being immediately on the pace just to make smaller steps um, by the time I get to qualifying. Seeing some mates of yours, Callum Eilat's a great example of someone like yourself really high caliber talent from F2. New to ovals, Callum in a short amount of time has shown that he's really figured them out. That's going to be your new challenge next year, but I got to believe there's a confidence. You've seen others pick it up quickly in Excel. Do you have any confidence there that you'll be to do this, to do the same across the full season? Indeed. Ovals is a, is a totally different game. Then you're going to test right after this, aren't you? I am. I'm going to test at Texas. So <laughs> it's, uh, from what I hear, a pretty fast circuit. And I have been there just to, to watch, obviously. So I'm very fortunate because I've had a year of sitting back and watching some of the best oval races, well, arguably in history, really. So I have been asking a million questions. I'm probably the most annoying person inside the Ganassi trucks at this point. It's not just inside the Ganassi trucks, yeah. separate topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> um, so I feel like at this point I have, uh, I've learnt a lot in theory and now I actually just need to do uh, the practical version of it, which is driving a race car around the track at 230 miles an hour. Let's close on this before we bring in Dario. One of the things that I love is we have this beautiful party sound going on here. Tell me about, to close, Marcus, the consistency. Obviously, Linus Lundqvist coming in, new to the team, but Scott Dixon's gonna be there, Alex is gonna be there, you'll be back for your second year. This championship program, to me, looks like it's just ready to keep rolling. What does that feel like? Yeah, well, standing here right now, it gives me thermal vibes, you know, when we're back in thermal. It's genuinely, it feels like the season has blown by. Wow. And the, But the amount of things that I've learnt is amazing like I've I've never learned so much in a single season of of motorsport in my life and I feel like having the consistency of a fantastic team around me that understands the value of continuity is one of those things that separates us genuinely because we all know each other well even after I don't know how long has the season been six months not even uh, I know some of these guys like my family well wow. so to have that in a motorsport environment gets the best out of myself for sure.
Marcus Armstrong doing big things coming next year. Let's see if Dario has nice things to say or not. Yeah. I'm nervous. You, the, I'm really nervous. <laughs> if you feel the bus going over you, it's Dario throwing <laughs> yeah. you under. You love teaching people. You love passing down all these things that you know. Some of them actually have value as well. But tell me about this Armstrong kid. I know you've really caught on to him uh, in his road to street course program, but now you get to feed some of this pretty good oval knowledge. Yeah, um, he's been a great student this year. Uh, he's, he's clearly, despite what you might see, he is clearly very, very smart. Yeah. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a great racing IQ. He's actually taught us some stuff in the team as well. Tire saving, fuel saving, race strategy, race craft, all that stuff has been phenomenal. Um, so now we get to go on the oval too, and um, that's going to be exciting starting in, tech, in Texas and then uh, off to Indy. So he's going to be a busy boy over the winter. So tell me about that ongoing education for Marcus in the areas that he's having to learn that are new to him in IndyCar. Plus, you get another crazy young talent, Linus Lundqvist, to work with as well, who knows ovals, right? Our, our Indy NXT champ. This kid as well. You've got some some pups who can do some big things. We've we've got a great lineup. We've had a great lineup this year as well. You know, Marcus Eric's gone off to, to pastures new, but we've got Linus coming in the team, and um, yeah, great balance of of champions with Scott and Alex, and then we've got Marcus and Linus and, and, the, and the new guys coming up. So it's um, it's going to be busy with both those guys, but they, their work ethic, um, all four of them. I mean, we know Scott's work ethic. With Alex is, 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 is it's so intense when he's when he's working. He knows exactly where he wants to be with the car, um, and you know, with, with the two young, not even rookies anymore, with with Marcus, with with Linus, they they're going to learn from those guys as, as, as well as you know some stuff from me. So it's going to be an exciting uh, 2023. Scary good. I know good. it's a 2023 there. Or whatever. Scary good. So let's close on this. At Portland, Linus making his first appearance with the team. I know you're trying to teach him a lot of stuff uh, behind the scenes in the transporters. And you also realized that there was some really important video footage you might need to watch. Was it something about Irish rallying and such, I believe, <laughs> as well? Tell me about the uh, extracurricular education. Yeah, no, that was more Simmons, actually. We've got a, we've got a sort of a... There's a file of, of Irish Rally co-driving videos that when, we're, when things are getting a little tense, you know, the, the, coming up to race day and we just, uh, everybody felt they needed a little relax. So Simmons played the on the big screen in the engineering office, the, the Irish Rally co-driving stuff. So you always need to, we take this very, very seriously. Yes. Um, there's a lot at stake and sometimes it's just cool to chill out. And, um, that was Linus's introduction to the team. Amen. Love where you guys are going next year. Congratulations, Tom.